that's the hugely popular video game Call of Duty. So-called shooter games like that are a hit with both men and, perhaps surprisingly, women. But female gamers are also interested in more variety. So some of them are taking matters into their own hands. The CBC's Deanna Sumanak explains. It's not every day you get a lesson in playing a video game from the person who designed it. But Beth Marr is pretty patient with a novice like me. Well, this is tricky because she's coming up. Come on, or is she, is she escaping from me? She might be. I'm playing a game called Crayshon, based on a female rapper by the same name. In the game, she fights materialistic, fashion-obsessed L.A. girls to progress through levels. It's very simple, um, but people really react well to it. I think it's it just sort of got that like purity of idea that, that has attracted people. 300,000 people played the game on Beth Marr's website after a Twitter endorsement from the real Crayshon and a glowing review in Rolling Stone. Not bad for a game without car chases, explosions or guns. Most of the games that you hear about are the modern warfare type games where it's just killing and shooting and all the character models are dudes. They don't actually have female characters anywhere in that game. They, they haven't designed them, um, which is just kind of frustrating just to know. Mar is a part of the fastest growing demographic in the multi-billion dollar global video game industry, adult women. According to the Entertainment Software Association, women make up close to 40% of all video game players, but many companies seem to overlook that market. When we went to a video game shop, we found that even the women who like the warfare type games wanted to see more female characters in them. There are female characters, but they're usually not the main character, so I'd like to see more of females being the main characters in action adventures or first-person shooters. I think they represent females pretty badly, um, only because like, they show girls like with not that much clothing. This new workshop is hoping to change the current macho landscape of video games by putting more women in the game designer's seat. Yuna Lee is a graduate of the Difference Engine Workshop. The game is called Unicorn Justice Fighter slash Unicorn Robber Baron. Um, and you are a unicorn uh, facing kind of an apocalyptic situation. And um, you are kind of competing for scarce resources in a universe that's about to implode. Lee says games for women don't only have to include those with female action heroes. Hers, for example, has a political and environmental message. It's kind of a, uh, exploring communalism versus uh, competition in a, in a world of dwindling resources. Workshop organizer Mayor Shepard says she's aware that big corporations have to produce games that sell. For now, her workshop's offerings are only available on the web for free. But she's hoping that as they get more exposure to the gaming audience, games like these could one day be found on the shelves of the mainstream game shops. That would strengthen our industry and make the products coming out of it much more innovative and much more accessible by the incredibly varied audience that plays games. And judging by the first audience testing these games, they could be of interest not only to women, but to men as well. Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto.